Welcome back to Seasons, a devotional that's based on my book by the same name. And today we're going to continue where we kind of left off a few episodes ago, where I was talking about King Solomon. And we were talking about the fact that we don't always have to know. And in that, I talked about what I think the difference between wisdom and knowledge is and how I see wisdom as the ability to discern whether or not the knowledge that we are pursuing is of benefit to ourselves or a benefit to the world, or if it's knowledge that will lead us away from God and will not help us at all and won't help the world around us either. Proverbs 9 verse 9 says, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man, and he will increase in learning. The wisest people I have known are the ones who have learned the art of listening to those around them and to the voice of God. They have learned to take in the facts that they are being given without a shred of prejudice or preconceived notions or being in this place where you're half listening to the person who's talking to you because you're busy thinking of a way you can prove them wrong. The wise enter into every moment of their day with the attentive ears and eyes of a humble student. Their teacher of the day might be a supermarket clerk who demonstrated patience as an elderly gentleman carefully counted out his coins to pay for something at his till. Or perhaps your instructor comes as a two-year-old who points out every single rock and stone and flower along that little ramble that you might take with him. Sometimes the lessons of the day are pretty difficult ones, especially when they come in the form of hard questions asked by somebody going through a real struggle. The sorts of questions that are raised by these life circumstances draw people, if they are truly wise, to admit that they don't know everything. The spiritually wise usually fall to their knees as they seek counsel from the greatest teacher of all, and they stay in a posture of humility. Here's some practical points. Learn to listen well. Go to YouTube or search on a search engine attentive and intentional listening skills and start to use them. It's a hard skill to learn, I gotta be honest. I often need to check myself to make sure that I'm staying attentive to whoever my teacher might be that day. Number two, if you're obsessed with learning as much as you possibly can on a particular subject to the point that you're like a hound dog trying to sniff out more and more knowledge, but you're not applying that knowledge to your everyday life, or you're not finding a way that you can use the knowledge that you're learning to benefit others, then ask the Lord if you're becoming a little bit OCD and if you need to step back for a wee little bit, remember to ask the Lord to filter everything that you learn through his discernment and invite the Holy Spirit to convict you if you are pursuing knowledge and you're going down certain paths that are actually harming you because you've become so obsessive about it. Let's pray. Father God, keep us humble. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear the teachers that you bring along our way. We acknowledge that we need to be discerning and weigh all things according to your word. 
and yet we eagerly step into your school of life. Allow us to remain in your school as long as we need to, and I have a feeling that's going to be until we see you face to face. Amen.